Christmas crime has punched a hole right through a local small business. Thousands of dollars worth of comic books stolen. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos is in Avon Park to show us the way the comic book store owners are now trying to stay ahead of the suspect. The thief got into the business by smashing the front door. You can see the owners temporarily replaced it. Once the crook got inside, that person went straight for the pricey comic books. This is a good, nice one here. This, this one goes for about 125. Brian Shelton, co-owner of IDC Comics, Toys and Collectibles. This one here goes for about five, six hundred dollars. Is sorting through the comic books a thief didn't steal. They knew what they were getting. We believe that they've been in here before several times to figure out pricing and stuff like that. Highlands County Sheriff's deputies say a crook broke into this Avon Park business sometime between Christmas Eve and Christmas. I thought it sucked. Like, you know, they said they took all his graded comics up there and that's a lot. Meaning they're collectibles, hard to find and expensive. They were lined up against the wall. It takes quite a bit of money just to even have them graded. Um, that's the hard part. Coming across those uh, particular issues are not easy to come by. Shelton believes the thief stole a total of four to five thousand dollars worth of comic books. What'll be even worse is if it's somebody we know real well. That would be the hard part. You know, somebody you trusted and to do that to us. Now the owners are putting together a list with the serial numbers of those stolen comic books to share online and to give to other comic book stores, making it more difficult for the thief to resell them. Comic book collectors don't like thieves and they will look for them. Deputies are still investigating. The comic books are in these nice plastic containers, so be on the lookout for them. If you have any information, you need to call Heartland Crime Stoppers. Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.